Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. How has God's promise to Abraham impacted the course of human history and our lives today? But before we delve into the depths of this question, let us lift our hearts in praise and thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father. For it is through His infinite wisdom and grace that we find ourselves on this spiritual pilgrimage, seeking His truth and drawing closer to His divine presence. Now let us turn to the sacred words of Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, where God speaks to Abraham, saying, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you, and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. This verse is a pivotal moment in the biblical narrative. It marks the beginning of God's covenant with Abraham, a covenant that would shape the destiny of a people and, ultimately, the entire world. To understand the significance of this promise, we must first appreciate the context. Abraham was called by God to leave his homeland and journey to a new land, one that God would show him. In this moment of obedience and faith, God makes a remarkable pledge. He promises to bless those who bless Abraham and to curse those who curse him. But here's the profound part. God declares that through Abraham, all the families of the earth will be blessed. This promise finds its fulfillment in Jesus Christ, who is a direct descendant of Abraham. Through Christ, the blessing of salvation is offered to people of every nation, tribe, and tongue. This promise is the heart of the gospel message. It's the reason we have the privilege of knowing and following our Lord today. It reminds us of our calling to be a blessing to others. Just as God promised to bless those who blessed Abraham, we are called to extend God's love and grace to those around us. We are called to be instruments of His blessing in a world that often thirsts for hope and redemption. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your unchanging promises and the way You have blessed us through Abraham and ultimately through our Lord Jesus Christ. May we, in turn, be a source of blessing to others, sharing the love and hope found in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As you go forth, remember your calling to be a blessing to others, for in doing so, you reflect the love of our Heavenly Father. Until we meet again, may God's grace and peace be with you. Goodbye, and God bless you.